Uh, good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome back to today's uh, webinar. Uh, we are going to talk about um, technical analysis. Last uh, webinar, we did uh, something regarding uh, fundamental analysis of trading uh, financial instrument. But today, this night, we are going to quickly talk about technical uh, analysis. But before we can do that, uh, technical analysis will, will take us into setting up of our platform. Uh, I think a uh, few people that are online can see my screen. Can you see my screen, please? Once you can see my screen, uh, I will continue the, can you see my screen? Just tell me yes or no. And if you are hearing my voice, can you please let me know if you are hearing my voice? All right, thank you. Uh, at least one person is uh, responding. Then if in the case that we, maybe you have uh, something, if uh, Lorraine, Maybe be maybe you you are going to put uh, increase the volume of your laptop, please. Uh, because I've tried my best to make sure my lapel is very close to my mouth. So straight to this to to the uh, class. Uh, like I said, today we are going to talk about uh, what we call. Uh, technical analysis but before we can jump into technical analysis we need some stages to pass through because technical analysis involve a cost of indicator uh, that you maybe you pay somebody to develop for you the robots which we call algo trading um, the normal indicator that comes with the platform so what we are going to do today first is I'm going to uh show us some important tools to understand that we can use on the <coughs> excuse me on a platform so uh that is where i'm going to start from um so this is the if you see my screen properly this is a trading platform and this trading platform i will be talking about we are going to use we have different trading platform but uh i'm going to use metaphor trading platform uh this is one of my uh interface this is how my um uh i've done my configuration of my uh platform so that i can be able to see the screen properly so this is not actually the way the platform is so i'm going to start from uh how the platform will look in uh first time you open the platform then uh we are going to together set up the platform to look like uh, this one we are looking so the first thing is if you click on this arrow here it's going to show us some things here we call um currency pair this usd shelf pounds usd euro usd usd japanese yen USD Canadian dollar, USD, I mean Australian dollar, USD. If you remember the first class when I was asking, when I was uh, uh, during the webinar, I was telling us that in Forex market or in uh, financial instrument uh, market, we are trading two currency at the same time. Is it that we are buying one where we are selling one, or we are selling one where we are buying one? We must do it simultaneously you can see that on the platform we have two currency pair up this usd this is shelf this is a pound this is usd this is euro this is usd and this usd and japanese yen so definitely we know that uh we we are we are trading two things at the same time you can see other forex some of these forex fell under what you call exotic pairs why do we call them exotics I will, we are going to reach that level in future we have commodities 
Uh, we have a lot of commodities, but in, uh, with this blocker, uh, brokerage firm we are using, the com we, they, they only put two commodities there, which is gold and silver. Then we have um, CFD. CFD are the same thing like uh, American stock. We have this IBM, this HPQ, this uh, Microsoft. So we can trade the stocks as, as well. And we have Forex uh, variants, which is uh, this. They are almost the same thing. And we have uh, commodity variants, which is uh, um, uh, USD gold and USD silver. We have stock. And you can see this Amazon, this Alibaba, this Facebook, this Google. So these are the stocks. Those are the ones that are rank under stocks. We have indices cash. That's uh, where we see uh, EU50. We have uh, a lot of them. So um, US500, which is, uh, I think, is NASDAQ. We have US30. I think uh, is a Dow Jones. So we have commodity cash, which is Brent, these are dealing with crude oil, and we have cryptocurrency. So all this we can see there. But now what we are going to do is, when you open your platform for the first time, this is what you are going to see. And you can see that it's not as clear as what we are seeing here. So I'm going to delete this. So we will start uh, setting up our platform. That's why we call it technical analysis, I mean technical analysis uh, part one part one means we are going to start preparing our platform to support whatever tools we want to use uh, uh as our tools for technical analysis so first thing is we're going to i'm going to delete this indicator and i want to make this thing to be look clearer so that's the first thing we are going to do so i'm right clicking anywhere on the platform remove the grid when I remove the grid, it looks a bit uh, tidied up and clean. And uh, there's a particular software here that normally comes naturally with every most, don't let me say every, most broker. So I'm going to remove that, come to expert advisor and I remove that and you can see it has disappeared. Now I'm going to right click on this and come to property. During the property, background is white, I want to change this background to black uh, and foreground is black I want to change the foreground to white then what next uh, I want to make my buying candle which is up candle to be green I want to make my down candle to be red which is uh, shutting the market selling in the market bullish candle is the same thing as bar up bearish candle is the same thing as uh, uh, sell candle so I want to make this one to red good uh let me see what else do we need to change then i come to i did those ones under the columns i mean colors so i'm coming to column i mean common in the common i want to remove this show ohlc ohlc means open eye low and close asking show asking line i'm gonna remove I'm, I'm going to leave it leave that uh for now i'm going to remove show period separator but later in the webinars we are going to i'm going to activate it back so that i can be able to use it to explain some aspect of technical analysis then here i'm going to remove this and by the time i click ok you can see what our our graph became we still have some blue lines which are doges yeah doges are a particular pattern of candle maybe we we'll reach there later so let me go back to the settings i want to remove that color blue completely i don't want to see the line graph uh, i think it should be this i want it to be red yes so let me try it now good you can see everything as a uh, green and red candle green means a buying candle bullish candle and red means selling candle which is a bearish candle now we are preparing our interface our platform for trading now having done this 
you can see that uh, the pair we are choosing here is pounds USD. You can see it here. And M1 means one minute chart. One minute chart is two uh, short uh, time. And I normally like to put my chart in one hour. If you look at this side, we call them, um, uh, we use these places to switch the time frame. So if I click on this, Yeah, if I click on this, uh, Lorraine, you asked me what is the candle representing. Good. Candle is, we, we have a lot of, uh, uh, what do we call it? Maybe we can call it a, uh, a, 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 a diagram. Candle represents price movement. Let me just go straight to that answer, to answer that. You see, these candles represent the movement of price in the market. You understand that's why we say red if you look at the red red candle is bearish uh movement in the mark market that means candle red candle shows that market is falling is coming the price is coming down you understand that means if price is like this the court um the court uh, currency is becoming stronger while the uh base currency is becoming weaker that's just the meaning of this i think uh i've answered your question is 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 price is the candle is just showing the pattern of the movement of the price in the market and we have different can i mean different uh diagram we can use to represent this but the commonly one we use is candle because if you look at here if you look there's a three uh uh chart patterns here we are using candle if i click here you are going to see something else you see we see something else it's not it's not three really candles but it's candle that show us uh maybe open and close or high and low but in this in, in in my own situation i prefer candles and if you click this another one we are call it night line chart you can see how the chart looks like but we normally use candle for us to be able to uh, clearly to be clearly uh, see the price and to be making a decision, we normally like to use candle uh, images. So I think that answer the question you ask. So now we have all this one to switch from one time to another. Like I, I we are now the chart is on uh, one hour. If I click here, the chart will move to four hours. If I click the one, we are can we are going to see daily chart. If I click one week. We are going to see weekly chart if you see one month it's going to show one month chart but uh, it's loading but i'll come back to one hour which has already loaded and one hour chart means each candle open and close is one hour each candle is one hour despite the fact that it candles are longer than each other it doesn't really matter this candle we that means a candle will completely form completely form in one hour that's the meaning of what we did if we put it on four hours that means a candle one candle like this it will take one candle like this to form it will take four i mean four hours for a candle to form like this and if you put daily time frame any candle you see them it will take 24 hours to form i think we are following the instruction little by little so now having done this we have other things to do we, we have two magnify lenses here this one is to zoom in for us to make it bigger and this one is to zoom uh out for it to become smaller so we normally use zoom in i normally like my chart to be clean as clean as possible and in that case in that scenario uh i will leave it like this so I will start explaining bit by bit some other things. So our chart is where and clean uh, design, so we can see it's not necessarily necessarily means that everybody should do green candle and red candle. But green and red candle they are standard color we use in the market. But you can put your own black and red. You can put your own uh, yellow and red. It depends on what you want as an individuals. So we have talked about type of graphs, type of 
uh, price representation, which is line, uh, open and close candle bar, and candle bar itself, and line uh, graph. And uh, we have a zoom, zoom in and zoom out. I've mentioned that. And we have a time switch, which we use to change from one time to another. For example, if you are the type that you want to grow up and starting uh, comparing multiple charts to do your trading analysis. But as time goes on, we are going to, I'm going to dive deep into it because we need to know all this before we say we want to trade Forex. So we need to know the interface. We need to understand how we can interpret what we are seeing on the chart. So now, if we look at this button, it's auto trading. If and if it's red, that means we switch off auto trading. This button is used for people that trade algorithms. Algorithms. What do we mean by algorithm? That means, that means you are using software to trade. So if you want to use your software to trade, you have to click on this, and it became green, and the software will respond to the market. So we call it uh, um, uh, automated trading button. So uh, we have some gray um, buttons here which uh, this one is for uh, signal. If you want to be buying signal to your uh, platform, maybe you love somebody the way he's trading, you want to be buying signal from the person. And this one is to register virtual server. For some of us we, which, uh, who are using software, algorithm trading, which some people call uh, robots, you can subscribe to virtual um, server from here though we have different type of them they i think uh minimum payment for this per month is about 15 to 20 dollars i don't use it anyway i have my own server then this one is what we call meta code language editor this place is good for people who are software developer like myself this is where i wrote i write i develop all my algorithm trading software you can see uh, these are the codes I've written to trade because I'm a software trader. I, I use software to trade. So we use that uh, as algorithm uh, for is for is a meta meta code language editor. So if you are the type that you want to learn how to program all your strategy, that is the place you are going to use. This button is for new order. If you are manually open your open and open new order you are going to use that button. Uh, I'll just quickly mention a few ones that is very, very important. You can do your research on the other one because you know we have limited time for this class. Now, if we look at this, we call this one terminal. If I click it, you'll be able to see alert, mailbox, market, articles, code base, expert, and journals. Um, alert, it shows us uh, news alert maybe if you are trading fundamentals when they release a particular news it purpose here this box shows when you are trading and there's a problem with maybe close open and close of your trade you see it in the mailbox market this is where we see I didn't connect the, the, the platform if not you will have been seeing what I will be I'm mentioning here market if you are the person that you are you want to buy software to trade from you want to buy software from somebody who want to sell their software on metaphor market the all the software will be uh showing here articles you see these are the articles that some uh programmers written just to uh to read for traders and some other thing this is the code base code base is some script written by some programmers that, but they put it on the platform. Some are free and some you buy. This is expert. This expert shows if, for example, if you are trading with software, like you are algo trader, this expert show the behavior of your software, how your software behave in, on the, on, on, in the market to, to trigger, to close your trade. That's what this place for. Journal. Journal shows what is happening to your... Um, Argo software. For example, I'm a edge trading person. I love edging. The, uh, my, trading, my trading strategy is edging. Many brokers doesn't want edging on their platform. For example, if I use that program here, 
It will not place any trade. And if I'm wondering what happened, if I come to Jonah, Jonah will keep on telling me what is happening to my software that makes it not to trade. So we use it to debug or to see what is happening to our software. And long story short, that's what I will explain this. I've explained everything under here. If you are not clear about it, you can go back uh, and check the video after the webinar. Today webinar, I think it will be a little bit above 30 minutes. Now, that is um, terminal. If, you if I click it again, the terminal will disappear. But without the terminal, you won't be able to see your trade. So it's very important, terminal is always on. Then we have another one here we call navigators. If I click the navigators, it's going to show me something here. In, inside this navigator, we have what we call account. For example, green, if you see this status, green means you are, you are trading demo, and this gold shows you are trading a live account. So, and if you see the bottom one, it shows indicator. If I click this small button, it's going to show me all the indicators that I've installed or that came with metaphor platform some of these software some of these indicators are software developer that developed by someone these are mine I, I have my some of my own software i develop on on this platform as well so that is what uh this indicator folder is doing the expert advisor if i click on it it's gonna show me all the algorithm software that somebody have been using to trade the market and that is what it is for and if you look at here there's some scripts if you're for example if you're a coder all these things is are for coders so if you're a coder you click here it, it's going to show you it's going to attach some script to the chart for you any of the script you are using and inside this navigator if you click um data window again you see this is a data window Today is weekend, there's no market flow. If there's a market flow, we are going to see some charts. Some You see, this is a data window. You can see dates, the time, open of the market. This is the price that the market opened. Uh, or maybe candle open. Let me say mark, um, candle. This is highest candle. This is the lowest. And uh, this is the close. And this is the volume of, as at this day, this is the volume of exchange done on USD pounds so that is what data window is for then if you come to market watch this market watch i will need to talk about it very well because it's very very important to you understand it um it's it's, it's giving us two information two solid information fine the first one is is showing us the price the bid and ask the bidding price and asking price in the market of a particular pay for example pounds usd this is the bidding price this is the asking price you see so it's giving us information of buying and selling price of the uh, uh, exchange something but if you look at market watch we can see 1507 then 26 this shows the time that our broker is using for example, I'm in South Africa. As at the time we are doing this webinar, is um, five minutes to nine o'clock. And if you look at here, this is seven past three o'clock. So that means this time, uh, my, my my time, my local time, and my broker time are not the same. So anything, you, if you are agro trader, because there's a there's a software that some of our uh, of the members on this group are using to trade so if you are agro trader you have to be very very extremely careful if you are putting the date inside the software i mean the time maybe the time to the, the software will place a trade on your behalf if you are not going to be at home and the time that the software is going to close the trade on your behalf he must he asked he, it needs to do with for you to understand this your broker's server's time because, for example, if you want this uh, trade to close 3 o'clock, you can see it's 15, which is 3. But if you come and use 3 o'clock in South Africa time, you are doing two different things. You are giving the software two wrong information. 
Because this is a server time that is most effective. Because that is the actual time you are trading in the market. So that is that about uh, this. Then here, if we click, right click on this uh, market chart, we see show all. So if you click show all, it will show all the assets that the broker is trading that we can trade on the broker's platform. You can see these are the all the assets. And if you click hide, it will hide some of them and remain and leave some of them. Some of them have been hidden as I click hide. If I click symbol, you can see it's going to show us symbol like this for us to see what we are trading. You can see here is uh is telling us the name of the this is a symbol, this is a full name, Canadian dollar versus Japanese yen. So that is uh why that is how this is is if you click on spread you can see is to come here and show us spread pounds usd this is the broker spread is three you can imagine so from here you can even monitor your spread because i will tell us the reason why spread monitoring is ex, ex, uh, very very important if you are a, 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 if you want to have a good result of your trading, look at um, gold. Gold has 100 uh, pip spread. And um, I want to look for ZAR, South African Rand. We want to see what is the spread of South African Rand. Look at South African Rand. I saw it somewhere briefly here. Look at South African Rand. So if you are trading South African Rand, that means you are trading. You, you, you have to first of all pay 200 pips to your broker before you start making money. That means the, what this one means is that if you either buy or sell um, USD ZA, you first of all be in negative 200. This negative 200 is like a service charge you are paying to the broker. So if eventually you saw, um, before you make one, one pip profit, you must first of all, you must have 201 pips. And 200 pips goes to the broker so you have to know why you are trading a particular peers and all the peers that have too much um, spread we call them exotic uh, peers and in future I'm going to talk about it why exotic peers is not advisable to be traded especially for the beginners okay having said that if you come here this is for profile. If you want to save a profile, uh, your trading profile, because sometimes if you off your laptop, you on it back, this chart we are seeing here can change. So you can click here to change, to save your profile. If I want to save my profile now, I can just say save profile. Excuse me, the, it came to that thing show my now, nah, okay. And I can put any names I want. These are the default name that came with it. I can put here my profile. So if I save it now, my profile will be showing there. Then this plus uh, something, we use it to add more peers. For example, if I want to add Euro, USD Japanese, if I click on it, you see he, he added another chart to my chart. So that's what the function of this box, I mean, the, this uh, plus sign on top of, uh, at the edge of this uh, chart, that is what it's allowing us to do. It's allowing us, for example, this is a Brent in dollars. I can click on it and it's going to load it if there's a data uh, offline because already market is closed now, so it may not show. But now, um, okay, let me quickly go to explain something for us here. Uh, let me close this. And okay, let me leave this. But you can see that this one is not it's not as clear as this one we have set. So for us not to be setting up a chart every time we want to trade a particular chart, what do we do? We click on this chart which we have set up for our use. Then you right click on that chart and you say template and you say save my template so now if i save my template now i can call it um let me call it webinar 
template temp then i'm going to save it good so like anytime i open another chart that i want to trade another chart what would i do right click on that chart come to template and say load template if i say load template it will load all the templates and i can look for webinar this is the webinar this is one i created now if i click on it what do we see you see it has changed it for us then we can change this one to one hour and we can see our chart looks like the first one we have set up so it makes things faster for us then that is all about uh setting up a chart and um, we are preparing ourselves for a uh, technical um uh, using technical strategy to trade then this uh button is the shift end you see if i click on this if i off it it shift for a shift price graph from me from uh right hand side to the left hand side if i click the second one it's going to shift uh, well are you okay it's not shifting if price market is live it's going to shift it, it do normally shift the, uh, the 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 chart from left to right as well then uh, we have indicator list this one show us all the indicators that came with our platform all these indicator we are going to mention them uh, i won't mention all of them we have thousands of them but i'm going to mention one indicator that i use for my trading when we reach that level then uh this uh is for period period and the same thing is here so we don't need to for example if i want to switch this to one hour i can click on it and switch it to one hour you can see one hour period chart and this one is is the same template i'm i'm showing last time if you look at it very carefully you see this is a webinar template that instead for us to right click and say load template we can come here and click here and say um template template that we have uh, loaded now these are the things we need to familiarize ourselves with and having done this we have done we have completed uh complete uh com we have completed the uh technical strategy uh part one webinar lecture so the next lecture we are going to use this navigator and uh, we're going to use uh create new chart uh watch market to start adding some um indicator how to add indicator to the chart to start doing your analysis so uh we can finish everything you can still uh, work on yourself and check um other things you need to know but what i've explained tonight they are the basic thing that a a, 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 a trader must know before you start trading you must understand them it's a must you must understand them before you can say you want to dare to come to to the platform okay so please uh the people online please do you hear me clearly then what is uh what are the questions you have if you don't have any questions uh i'm going to call it off today and i'll put another date for another webinar where we are going to continue uh technical uh technical analysis part two because uh technical analysis i think we're going to reach part five before we can start trading with it so do we have any question please guys online if you don't have any questions then i will call it a day today i don't want to really do a very long too long uh video so that when you are going back to watch it it's going to be simple short and precise so if there's no question i'm going to call it a day today and i will say we enjoy our weekend further and good night